what's up everyone it's Jan Boers new video and today I'm going to talk about ESCZ 2024 its positives its negatives and trust me to make this video it was one of the hardest and it's always one of the hardest things to do let's talk All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very glad you're here, that you're interested in this topic. And this particular topic for me, it's it's hardcore topic. You know, it's my thing. It's something where I invested a lot of time in the past. And it's something I'm still looking forward to. How it's gonna be, how it will develop, how it's gonna upgrade, update, get better, bring a better status to Czechia as a Eurovision established country and also as a country which raises the quality of its artists to shine in the world. And of course, I'm looking every single year and to discuss about this with you publicly, it's a bit tricky also. Because of course, I'm somehow involved you know still on the project some of my ex-colleagues are working and so on and so on actually nowadays i don't know anything about the background how they prepare it and so ever whatsoever i can imagine something in my head so i'm pretty sure that they don't have bigger budgets or big budgets and they're doing a lot of things out of enthusiasm and so on which is pitifully visible on the project but I definitely was thinking about how I will approach those videos, you know, if I will be like very politically correct or how to do it and I think we should be also a very honest. First of all, seven artists which they showed up that they are potentially representing Czech Republic at Eurovision uh, was completely newcomers for Eurovision world so they opened gates to completely new artists which I think it's perfect and the other thing is that I know some of them and I know they are very very good at least on the Czech level or let's say even in my mind in my eyes with the, the artists with the potential of course I knew even some of them of the others which I knew that a few years ago they, let's say, weren't there, weren't there, vocally approach, maybe didn't know what kind of music they would like to do anyway, doesn't matter, because now we had all those seven and I was very, very curious about them. I also was listening to some of their songs, so I know something of their background, musical background and so on. So to have a little bit of idea what I can expect and you have really like really newcomers in there like let's say maybe future starlets somebody who you find out just because of this event of course you have also established artists like Lenny and Midi definitely very established artists and let's say in the middle part of this they're like talents like let's see if there is going to be something about it or not and this mix, in my opinion, it's something what still gets the philosophy of Czechia, that it supports domestic market, that it supports the creativity of domestic market and also that it kind of let the people taste how it is to be in the competition, which has completely different limits and different quality standards. And the last thing I said, it's very, very important because here in Czechia, and it's not just Czechia region. I also know that this kind of counts for Slovakia, other, let's say, Eastern European countries, that at some point, in domestic way, we think we are doing things of world quality, definitely much better than the others and so on. But the reality is that simply it's not true. And I think ESCZ 2024 shown that truth in the pure nakedness, because it wasn't good. It wasn't bad, but definitely it was not good. If I talk about just the show itself, the concept is very simplistic, very easy. It's the same, basically the same concept as it was last year. So uh, moderation, profile interview, singing, repeat. And that's seven times plus some extra numbers like Malavi and We Are Domi, which was nice. Of course, it was more done as a concert made than a TV show. It was some kind of approach, but all of it kind of as a, as a thing. Okay, it's still good that this format exists to let us know how the singer's capabilities are looking 
in the TV, what is their approach in front of the cameras, what is their energy, maybe what is their kind of like vibe, also stage presence and also if they can sing their own song. Let's start from the end. It's not all of them could sing their own song live for many reasons probably. Maybe the key was too high or too low for them. They just weren't prepared, which was one of the first thing that that let's say more than half of the artists weren't really able to sing their song properly, which definitely is deadly at Eurovision and definitely it's not a good visit card to go for the show and do such performance because especially some of the artists for me it was like you know this year I, I was at Luxembourg in Luxembourg as a part of the jury who should also took songs artists pitch them for the big event which they will expect in the national finals and already the quality at the castings was incredible but what it must say that also those castings serve to really see if the artists are able to sing present in front of the audience in front of the cameras the songs they brought and of course in some cases many cases actually it didn't work out because it's very hard to do it not everybody can sing and you know studio versions they cover everything it's not relevant source of information at some point it's good for knowing if the music is good but it definitely says nothing about the artist in general when you want this artist to compete at Eurovision which is a live broadcasted show and so we did and you know half of the honestly I, I would say that maybe one two songs would maybe compete to get it to this eight at Luxembourg but definitely I would be very and there will be probably big big discussion of what artists or whatsoever because the quality of live singing live performance and so on was low it's the the standard for Europe is low is low and I think we we must take this as a feedback in here that this is not enough this won't that this will be never enough if we want to reach the stars if we want to be big country like for example Sweden in music which I think we should have this approach we should have this ambition we should really go this path we must rise our standards what is the standard first of all because that was my problem with ESCs that I cannot say everything was wrong 100% not some songs are ki kind of good of course not that good but let's say they are good but then always there was something wrong it was on the on the artist side the singing capabilities very low or the song very flat or the performance itself you know was completely laid down for example this was my problem a bit with Lenny which I think still if I just take the studio version is the best song we had this year we have this year is the most memorable easy to memorize the melody song and also she has very specific voice which I think can attract but if I compare the studio version to the live performance where she was sitting in the piano looking like that what was that and also if you compare those two versions it's like two completely different songs it didn't have the the drama it didn't work and it's not because of the sound engineer so whoever did a bad job no this was reality this is what you can see at Eurovision but also it gives you the option that whoever will win basically from from ESCZ needs to work crazily hard on everything for example Midi Rabiket they come with the complete package let's say they have the style already they have the attitude the song somehow works much better than studio version in my opinion at some point even the song needs needs to be adjusted because then in the competition like Eurovision you're risking that you won't be successful in my opinion because there will be better things they're already France it smiles away from anything anything I heard in ESCZ this year already so this is the level where we should go and we are now we are now no here and even if the ambition is not to win Eurovision the ambition should be always to qualify and I think we should year and year we should be adjusting this upper upper and I feel that we go lower that it's not better every year like if I compare ESCZ from its start to nowadays let's say from 2020 it was 2020 year 2020 maybe the, also the year with VR domain it was very strong but also last year and also this year it's going the completely opposite direction by music quality and especially by 
the live performances even it's not fair to compare because really last year and this year they really performed live the artists what it's important important is to keep the format important is to give artists much more chances much more chances maybe shows like that just to exist or to be shot or i don't know where find the budget budget to do it because the artist needs if they want to shine abroad if they if they're if this is the ambition, if this is the level way where they would like to go, they need to be delivered a feedback and they will never be given a very truthful feedback if they won't go out of their comfort zone, which means to television, to the internet with live performances and also listen a lot of critics. Because in my opinion, they are raised in the environment, which is you're so good, everything is fine or you have no chance and then maybe you don't even know why it happened. And we need to change this approach. We need to be very honest in what's good, but also where lies the ambition. If it's domestic market, the standards can be lowered. In, in general, that counts for m lots of countries. It's not Czech specificism, but can be lower and you can focus on completely different things. If the ambition is, I want to shine abroad, we must hire the standards and also we must hire the standards in television in the approach in anything like uh we cannot say always it was good perfect and that counts for everybody like you know i do mistakes i do a lot of mistakes we can always improve all of us but i think this improvement in this specific in this very very specific case worth it because artists can gain from it televisions can gain from it music market can gain from it all the professionals who are around it can gain from it and this should be our goal because honestly if i probably wouldn't go around the world and see let's say europe more likely and see how they are doing television and i didn't have this comparison i would maybe be okay with this but pitifully i was i saw and I know it's possible and not some not all the time it's about money it's about the concept it's about the storytelling it's about the approach and some passion also money helps of course but definitely it shows the standard it's it's somewhere else and it's only a question if we want or if we are okay with this if we are okay with this what is our goal well I was asked many times when Czechia is going to win Eurovision and I think honestly that if we continue like this we will win it only by accident it would be a chance if we start to go more deeper because I think after seven years eight years coming back to Eurovision we need to we need to push we need to not go this way but that way that we need to push a bit more of course in case of if it's possible but we built something, why not? And if we go this path, we will definitely win and we will be taken very, very seriously every single year. And I think we are still not there. Let's, let's get there. So, conclusion. I don't have a favorite in this ESCZ, honestly, because I'm, I think that if I don't take this, let's say, below standard, I would say that most of artists are at the kind of same level everybody miss something the better song the better performance yes basically those two things and whoever will win needs to work very very hard listen all the feedback enhance the music enhance the performance and really work on vocals because then there is no chance of course there is this rule that in semi-finals there are no juries which i think can really really save whoever for me this is unpredictable a bit but when it comes also with juries with juries we stand zero chance with this with either of songs so yeah not very positive luck not very positive luck it wasn't very easy for me to force myself to make it but i think it's very very important to do so even though it won't change anything probably it won't change the czech television approach towards the contest in general where there was for for example no social media mentions on about even ESCZ so it was made basically to international audience which it's a sad approach but also it's very logical and pragmatical which I got but 
yeah, this is where we are now. Maybe one day this will change. And this is the message for the future that there is still a lot of space for improvement to change and we sh just shouldn't be afraid of it. To accept it as a fact, it's like, come on, let's have some ambitions. This is a thing, why not? <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Anyway, maybe you have completely different opinions. Maybe you liked it. Maybe you have completely different points to say out loud. Comments in below are a platform for here for this to discuss it. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch my other videos. And I see you next time. And also uh, whoever wins ESCZ, come on, I will be your biggest fan. But just to maximum to improve, please. And it, this comes also for any other artist, whatever. Okay, see you next time. Thank you for watching.